In this video, I would like to show how to minimize iatrogenic retinal break formation in complex diaptic combined retinal detachment using a combination of unimanual 10K beveled cutter and bimanual surgery and what is the right point to switch from a unimanual technique to a bimanual technique. The case is started by trying to segment the membranes by using the cutter itself. As the retina is not so mobile in the beginning of the case, it's fairly easy to segment and remove these membranes just with the cutter to start with. The cutter is used unimanually to segment all of the membrane and once the segmentation is complete, it's then used to safely remove as much membrane as possible without causing an iatrogenic break. Here you see but in particular the bevel tip comes in very handy as it can almost even touch the retina and remove the membranes without damaging the retina. Now is the right time to switch to bimanual surgery as the retina is now mobile and any attempt to remove these remaining islands of membranes with the cutter will definitely result in plenty of iatrogenic breaks. Using the chandelier along with the curved scissors and forceps makes it very easy to visualize the strong fibrovascular attachments between the retina and the membrane and to cut them one by one by seeing them directly under the chandelier light. I find the curved scissors particularly handy because apart from cutting those point attachments between the membrane and the retina, it can also be used in the closed position to, to blunt the section of the posterior hyaloid. In a similar fashion, slowly and steadily, all the segmented membranes are removed using the scissors and forceps without causing many iatrogenic retinal breaks. In this case, despite the advanced stage and the complex nature of the diabetic detachment, there were just two iatrogenic retinal breaks. Siliconol tamponade was used and the patient got a best corrected visual acuity of 636 under oil. Thanks for your attention.